Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and Panasonic just announced that this autumn they will be releasing the S1H, a more video focused version of their popular S1 camera that also happens to come with a much higher price tag. So, today I want to tell you about the video features of this camera that have been revealed and give you my thoughts on them. And please keep in mind that Panasonic just announced this camera and they said themselves that they were not going to reveal all of the video features yet, so I'm sure some of this is subject to change. Up first, let's talk about the headlining feature of the S1H. This camera is capable of recording up to 6K in the three by two aspect ratio at 24 frames per second, and 5.9K in the 16 by nine aspect ratio at up to 30 frames per second. It is also capable of recording 6K in the four by three aspect ratio if you want to shoot anamorphic as well. And to be clear, Panasonic has said that it records 6K in full frame with no crop. That is very impressive. I hear some of you saying, Matt, why do I need a camera that can shoot in 6K? My computer can barely edit 4K footage at this point. Why would I need 6K? Well, just like how you can deliver a video in 1080p but shoot it in 4K so you can crop in and have a lot of room to manipulate it in post, if you shoot a video in 6K, you can then deliver it in 4K and have a lot of room to reframe things as well. That is an awesome feature to have. Now I do want to temper this excitement with a bit of uncertainty. Panasonic has not stated if these 6K video modes would be recording in 10-bit. They may only be recording in 8-bit, we do not know yet. The second major feature of this camera that I want to talk about is that the S1H is capable of recording 4K at 60 frames per second in 10-bit. Up until this point, the GH5 and the S1, etc., were only capable of recording 4K60 in 8-bit color. So having the ability to record 4K60 in 10-bit color is going to be huge for a lot of people. One thing that we don't know is if there is going to be a crop when shooting at these higher frame rates. With the Panasonic S1, whenever you're recording in 4K60, there is a 1.5 times crop. With the S1H, Panasonic has not stated whether there will be a crop or not. One last benefit of the S1 H is that it comes with V-Log pre-installed. Unlike with the S1 and the GH5 and other Panasonic cameras, you do not need to purchase a software license upgrade to enable it to shoot in a flatter picture profile. You get V-Log in this camera built in. Of course, this camera also has many of the features and strengths of the S1 that came before it. You're getting the fantastic in-body image stabilization from the S1. You're getting great battery life, unlimited recording time. It's built like a tank. The S1H is going to be a great tool for for filmmaking. There are a lot of things that we don't know about this camera yet, and I touched on some of them earlier. Does it have that same 1.5 times crop when shooting at 4K 60 frames per second? Is the 6K video recorded in 10-bit? What bit rates is this camera recording at in 6K? And what about overheating? Panasonic has said in an interview that while the camera has unlimited recording time, it may shut down if it gets too hot. You may not be able to shoot an outdoor wedding in 6K in the Texas heat, which I am about to be experiencing as summer rapidly approaches. Aside from these unknowns, there is one issue that we do know about that I think is gonna keep some filmmakers from purchasing the S1H, and that is the price. And at $4,000, this is definitely not a cheap camera. And this comes at the time when we have so many options from so many different camera manufacturers for such good prices. You have Sony with their a7 III for $2,000. You could buy two of them for the price of one S1H. You have the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K for $1,300 that records gorgeous raw video. You have the Fuji X-T3 for $1,500. Even the S1 one, this camera's younger brother for $2,500 is going to have many of the same features as the S1H. At this event, Panasonic announced that on July 8th, they would be releasing a firmware update for the S1 that adds V-Log and 422 10-bit recording in 4K at up to 30 frames per second. This update will cost $200, but even then, the price is still much lower than the S1H. My point is that we are living in the golden age of video cameras right now, with so many options from so many manufacturers for such cheap prices. And so, whenever you see the S1H with its $4,000 price tag, I can really only recommend this camera if you need a camera that can record full frame video in 6K. For me, I'm still shooting with the Sony a7S II, and I love this camera. But, 
come this fall, if Sony has not released the A7S III by then, and it does not match many of these specs or improve on them over the S1H, I might jump to Panasonic. If you want to read more about this camera, I'll be sure to post any news or updates about it to my Facebook page, which I'll link to down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.